What is up guys? We're back here at Universal. Today we're at Halloween Horror Nights and we're going to show you guys how much you can get done with about three hours left in the park. Current time's what? 11.30? 11.35. 11.30. So we're going to go in there, grab some food because we're two hungry people. We just got back from Miami. And then we'll have some fun. Roll that intro. Now when I come into the park, the first thing I love to do is I love to check out the app. This way it lets you know what the wait times are going to be, what everything's going to look like when you're walking in, and this way you can make your point of attack. See, you got Tooth Fairy over here at 15, Monsters at 20, Scary at 30. Makes you think, where are you going to start? I typically like to start in the back, but this time we're going to kind of just go with the flow, have some fun, and enjoy ourselves. All right, guys, you can see that perfect view of the front gate, and you can also see the mass exodus of people. So you know, there's a large drop-off between 11 o'clock and 1 a.m. is usually when everyone leaves. That's not staying till close. So that's usually when the lines are going to go down. So we're kind of kind of put that to the test right about now. And I know Lexi's very hungry. So I think we're going to go into Monster's Cafe. We're going to go to Monster's Cafe and get some of our little favorite snacks and let you guys see it. Now, of course, before walking into the Monsters Cafe, we have to walk through 30 years, 30 fears, and uh, got a nice little view of Bone here from the back. Look at him. All beautiful and gorgeous in all his glory. Here we go. There you guys go. That was uh, 30 years, 30 fears. And now you can see Lexi's leading the way. We are on our way to Monsters Cafe to go get some scrum food. Alright guys, and we have lucked out. The Monsters Cafe is open and we are going to go get some food. Now keep in mind it is about 11.45ish. No line in here. So I think we're doing pretty good. Alright, I'll let you guys take a nice look at the menu. We usually end up getting the flatbread. I really enjoy it. It's probably what I'm going to get right now. We've also had the vampire in the past, which is like a pulled pork sandwich. I'm not a huge fan of it. I feel like it's way too sloppy for me. But, you know, one thing Lexi always loves to get when she comes here is the mac and cheese. I love mac and cheese. Mac and cheese slaps. Yeah. But, yeah, we'll see. We should be getting a flatbread. That's what I'm getting. What are you going to get? All right, we're both getting a flatbread. You guys get to see two, two flatbreads getting eaten. Don't you love it? All right, guys, so we got our flatbreads. Lexi got lucky enough and got way more bacon than I did, but it's all good. We love this flatbread. It's nice and crunchy, you know. What's on it? Do you remember what's on it? It's like bacon. Okay. It's good. It slaps. It's really good. And it's pretty affordable as well. We also got a cup of pineapples because, you know, pineapples are fantastic. And then we got some water because you can save money just getting cups of water instead of buying a actual cup. So yeah, we're gonna tear these up and then get out there to the public. Now, I'm probably super dark right now, but we are currently inside. We finished eating at Monsters. Flatbread was fantastic. Now, these last two hours, I like to call them the midnight hours or the howling hours. Shout out to Rob. Um, we are about to do what looks like icons because it's currently at a 25 minute wait. This is uh, pretty exciting, pretty fun. Oh, pretty fun. <laughs> but yeah, 25, and we just saw Lexi's friend Crystal. Alright guys, we just got out of Icons. I'm sorry, we're a little glowy here, but uh, we saw Jack on the throne. I think that was pretty cool. I feel like we've seen the Jack the most. Like, I know we haven't vlogged a lot when it comes to the park. We've just come been taking everything in, hanging out with everybody, having a good time. I promise I will have some more out throughout the whole event. But awesome to see Jack. We're now heading to our next house. Where do you want to go? Case Files. Case Files. Well, depending on whatever's a little week. Yeah, we're going to go up Seek and Destroy so you guys can take a look at some of the scare zones right now so you can see how the crowd level is, more or less. So, uh, let's walk that way. And just so you guys can see, look how empty the zone is. You can actually see almost all of the actors here. It's pretty awesome. And you can see the controllers all alone up on the stage. It's pretty cool. Oh, we have found a friend. Oh, no, not a friend. Yeah, pretty cool. Oh. He is scanning, he is scanning, I repeat. No, 
They're in banana suits. <laughs> I was like, what? Oh, he, got a, he has a chainsaw. Did, they, did you see the people in banana suits? Yes. Weird. They gave him a saw right here. Oh. Yeah. This is all just street atmosphere for you guys, you know. Being able to check this all out. Pretty awesome. Someone just asked Lexi for help and she just looked at him like he was crazy. I just smiled. She just smiled. Oh, we have Mr. Spotlight up here. Oh. Now we're gonna turn the corner here and walk our way over to Case Files. Before we get to Case Files, we have to walk through Eddie's Zone. Well, lights, camera, action. Eddie's Revenge. I gotta say, I love this so much. This is possibly one of my favorite zones in a while. It's just really well done. I just love the combination of actors past and present coming together. Having a great time. Oh. It's just so cool to see everyone. And the fact that Eddie is finally getting the love that he deserves blows me away every single time. Oh, it's one of the drinks. Hi. Where's Eddie? Oh, there's Eddie. Look at him. Look at him go. What a phenomenal boy. Fantastic. I love him. Ah. Oh. Oh, they got a mallet. They now have a mallet. Oh. Now it's me and Lexi's favorites right here. All right. We're just gonna keep going through. Oh, someone from Vanity. The witch. Ah. So many cool actors out here. It's freaking great. And now we are finding our way over to Case Files Unearthed. And now before we go in, just gonna let you guys know this is a 25 minute wait. We just got out of Case Files. I'm sorry, we're dark. It's just, it's dark, it's nighttime. Can't expect more than this. Um, we are about to go through Gorewood Forest to start walking towards the back. To give you guys a little timestamp, it is now 12.48. So, two houses down so far. We're gonna see how much we can get done. This is a very fun night, wouldn't you say that? Yeah, yeah. So, let's keep going, let's have some fun.
All right, guys, and one of the biggest benefits of coming late to the park is that you get the most popular houses dropping in weights. For example, look at the Haunting of Hill House right now. It is currently 10 minutes. Basically a walk-on, so here we go. All right, so I know I said 10 minutes. One thing you need to be very wary of, nine times out of 10, the wait times could possibly be a little bit off. Thankfully, we have Express. So we've been going through Express. I've been showing you guys the regular times. We've been, we've noticed the lines are still relatively short yeah. when it comes to the regular line around this it's time Sunday as well. Nice and people do probably have work tomorrow. Work, the kids have school. So it's a lot to really put into thought. But for a Sunday night, coming in and doing these at the midnight hours, pretty awesome. And it is now about to hit one o'clock. So let's catch up with you guys when we get out of Hill House and I get to uh, get scared again. Yay. So much fun. All right, I just switched over from my camera to my phone because we're about to go in the house, but there's no one here. This is literally a 10 minute wait. It's a walk on. That's crazy. Lexi's so hyped to go in this house. She's running. But yeah, so I'm gonna put you guys away right now and see you guys when we get out. All right, we just got out of the Haunting Hill house and I gotta say, Lexi got every single scare. Yeah, she did. Like, she really did. She really did. Uh, the tall man, like, was trying to take me with him, kind of, you know, at the end. He was like, come with me, child. And I'm like, no! <laughs> yeah. Me and my girlfriend have a whole life to live. <laughs> so we're currently walking our way back to Wicked slash um, Puppet slash Scary. We're gonna see what we do, how much time we have. We have an hour left. I mean, it's one tenth. So. It's one tenth. So. We'll see. We'll see where it goes from there. So uh, hopefully we have short waves. We've been getting very lucky so far. So see how much more luck we have on our side. No lady though. No lady luck. No, it's okay. No, it's okay. All right, guys. So from right here, we see that Wicked Growth is a 25, and Puppet Theater is a 10. You know where we're going. We're gonna hit Puppet Theater. And now we just got out of Puppet and I'm on my phone because it's a walk-in. 25, here we go. But yeah, perfect example, we just walked out of Puppet and we saw there's literally no line for Wicked. The line is literally just funneling straight into the actual house itself. So literally no wait. Current time's 121 and this is house number five. It's crazy to say that, but we've done five houses since we started this at 12 o'clock. So, uh, Seems like this midnight hour, pretty solid. Lexi, how you feeling right now? I'm tired. tired, I'm tired too, but you know what? We're having fun. You're an old lady? If you're an old lady, I'm an old man. All right. Here we go, guys, we are about to walk in. That means you guys have to go in my pocket. All right, we just finished our walkthroughs of both Puppet and Wicked. Um, I gotta say it's probably the first time all event that I've had a better walkthrough of Puppet than I did of Wicked. I'm being honest. No, Only okay. Because there was a cash no, 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 no. Off. There was a cash change halfway through the house, which means it was a bad walkthrough. Okay, but then you're gonna watch on his ranking some of the guys who like the worst house ever just because of that one. No, 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 Anyways, still really good houses. Uh, we are about to go through Scary Horror in the Heartland, which is one of Lexi's least favorite houses. Yeah. So, we'll see how she feels when we get out, you know what I'm saying? All right, guys, so I didn't go inside the house because uh, I didn't feel like it, and I know it's the only one inside the house, so I opt out, but Adrian's gonna give you an input on his walkthrough by himself, so I guess we'll see when he comes out. All right, and like Lexi said, um, I went through by myself, and I have to say, it was an okay walkthrough. Um, it was pretty fast. <laughs> it was fast. There was a lot of holes. I know it's late in the night and I was the only one going through the house, but there was a lot of holes. Um, the best scare to me had to be HR Blood and Guts. Came out. I'm guessing it's the same one from last time because he did the same thing last time. He came into his boo hole, was like, HR Blood and Guts. Then as soon as I go to turn the corner, he goes out of the opposite boo hole. So I was like, oh, good job, my guy. Good job. Um, so I gotta say, got a solid run through. It was fun, it was enjoyable. That house is just a lot of fun. Uh, we're now gonna walk through Crypt TV and try to do maybe one more house. Uh, I gotta say so far, solid night, six houses. Yeah. Six houses and we've only been here for two hours. I gotta say I like, like I'm saying, these last two hours of the event, very crucial along with those first two hours 
One day I'll come out here and I'll just show you guys the first two hours, including stay and scream, so you guys have an idea of what I'm talking about with how important the first two and the last two are. So, uh, let's go into Crypt. Here we go, guys. We are now going into Crypt TV. There's like no one here. This makes me sad. No Miss Anity. Uh, it makes a lot of sense, you know. No hair claw. Uh, oh, we got the birch. Yes, Queen. Yes. Uh, hello, Birch. You look fantastic as always. And then finally, I think it's just the suit over here. Yeah. Alright guys, we are now walking through Seek and Destroy one more time. This is of course the only route we have to go to these front houses. So... I know, I saw. Oh, what a goat. What a fantastic scare. Oh. She needs your help, Lexi. Are you gonna help? No. It's the second person to ask you for help today. And I'm you're not going, helping. I'm going home. I'm going to sleep. <laughs> Oh, Honestly, the street atmosphere here in this zone is what makes it it's phenomenal. Ooh. It is currently 1.55 and we are about to hit our final house of the day. We're going to hit HHN Icons Capture. Who's going to be on the throne? I'll let you know. Also, um, Texas alone, not fun, very scary. Uh, a lot of chainsaws, a lot of big sweaty men that look like me but a little bit taller. Also, my face isn't disfigured but theirs is. But still, anyways, a lot of fun, a lot of scares. Really good walkthrough, really solid walkthrough of that house. I was impressed to say the least with that walkthrough. So now we are going through icons. Who do you think is going to be on the throne? With Jack. Jack? I don't want Jack. It's not going to be Jack. I don't want him either, but I mean. Your guess is Jack, right? Like, will you. I mean, I don't. Okay, my guess, yes, but who I want? Someone who I haven't seen, which is. Storyteller. Yeah. I'm going to go with Storyteller still. I still think it's going to be Storyteller. Okay. I don't care. Alright guys, we didn't just get out of Icons, we got out of Icons like 10 minutes ago, but we went into the Tribute Store, fun fact. It is open about like 20 minutes after closing, so if you want to buy any merchandise in the Tribute Store specifically, you can go in there right at 2 o'clock, but don't take too long, don't keep these people here longer than they have to be. Come in knowing what you want to buy and grab it. So, don't stay in the Tribute Store too late, just don't do it. If you're gonna get stuff, either come before Horror Nights, get your stuff in the Tribute Store, or, like I said, those 20 minutes, go in there. Don't stay there longer, trust me. It's not fair to the people that work there. But, we went to Icons, we did not get Jack. Oh yeah, we didn't. We didn't get Jack, very, very happy. We got the director. We got the director. One day, one day we're gonna get the storyteller, I promise you, and it's gonna be a happy day for me. The only icon I haven't seen, the only icon Lexi hasn't seen either. Yeah. So fingers crossed. But for now, 
Yeah, Today was a fun day. We did seven house, seven different houses, yeah. and then one house doubled. So I gotta say, pretty solid for hitting the midnight hours here. Didn't do Beetlejuice, two, three, and brides. Yeah, which are the houses that were here last year yeah. for light. So it's a pretty, not that bad, like one, two punch that we yeah. didn't do. Not bad. So. It's possible to hit all the houses in those last two hours. The last two hours are very crucial. So, with all that being said, if you guys like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Comment down below what you guys want to see next. Subscribe if you guys already haven't done so. And, thanks to my dudes.